Now that I know this game is coming out in almost one month, I feel like a closer look at Paper Mario the Origami King is going to be very spoiler heavy. Let's hope it's not too spoiler heavy because I want to watch it. I cannot wait. Okay. <laughs> Okay, same opening. <gasps> Princess Peach's castle has been seized by uh, YouTube like oh. Origami. I do want to save Peach's castle so bad. I like that little announcer's voice. He's so like calming, soothing, even though he's like everything's effed up. He was great and that looked really exciting. I love how they were like a new series in the Paper Mario series. I guess they have to market this to a brand new audience. So this is a way of saying like, hey guys, there is a series to this, but you could jump in right here because this is a new journey and you are going to save Peach. If you've never seen this art style before, wait till you see this. I love how they barely even have to focus on Mario and you're very excited. A heroic adventure unfolds. Mario sets out on his latest journey around the world, searching for the ends of five massive streamers. Looks like they're definitely going to be catering to a younger audience, as if it was me at my age when I first was introduced to the series. I mean, the way they're presenting the information is very appealing, first of all. Like, it looks gorgeous, but it's very, like, explicit. It's telling you straight up, as if you are a child, here's what you're going to be doing in this game. You're you're going to be going to five worlds. You're going to be going to a desert world. You're going to be t going to a ninja mansion or something like that. A autumn mountain, which I mean, I'm, I'm cool with. So it's a great commercial. First of all, I'm looking at this and being like, okay, I want to see all these worlds. I want to see what is going on here with this origami king. Like I want to be on the adventure with all my buddies that they're about to show me. And I definitely want to see this, this game mechanic because I, I am a little bit nervous that this game, the trailer, seems like it's per it's being pitched towards a younger skewing audience, but I don't know if the game will, and if it does, I hope that they have like a difficulty setting. Like I hope they give you a hard difficulty level setting, because I want to be able to like be challenged and almost die from these enemies, but still like beat them. Meet Olivia, Mario's steadfast travel companion. Olivia! <gasps> Oh my god, she's King Ollie's sister? Oh, I hope she becomes queen. Please, future queen? I don't know. Are they gonna make her turn evil at the end? No. I hope she saves her brother. I hope it's revealed like her brother is brainwashed or something. I don't know. Oh, uh, Olivia, next stop, fourth floor. Bicycles, mattresses, formal wear, blenders, and comic books. <laughs> I guess there's like a store setting. Oh, Olivia. All right, before I get into the battle section, oh, that character trailer melted my heart. Like, that is Nintendo at, for me, it's one of its finest. It's Nintendo saying, you want a world of characters? We have an entire world just for Mario games and just for Paper Mario games. So come into this giant world we've built and enjoy it because you are going to have Professor Toad. It's not even Captain Toad. It's Professor Toad. I love Professor Toad already. Bobby the bomb -Bob. Oh, my God. And he has no memory or something. I don't know. That's so cute. Olivia doesn't look like she's going to be a fighter. It looks more like she's going to be like a Navi type. She's just going to help you out throughout the whole game. But she looks hysterical. Like all already the personality that they showed where she's like, I just want to relax in the sauna. I love Olivia. I'm into Olivia already from what they've shown. Oh, Kamek. Ah. Uh. Kamek. Honestly, I almost prefer earlier Paper Mario games where it was like even more random characters. Like I kind of liked playing as like this random like cloud lady with like big boobs. The little sun thing. Anyway, I also like that they really brought back famous characters. For me, I'm seeing, oh, okay, I never got to play as Kamek before. That's cute. Oh, I can't wait to play as Kamek. Okay, so now this is the battle section. And we're only 2 minutes and 18 seconds in. And they've already got me so excited. Spin and slide in ring-based battles. One thing I'm nervous at looking at this screen is that the Goombas and Olivia look cute, but they obviously are a different art style than Paper Mario, who I want to see more Paper Mario. That art style I love. Ooh, I hope there's a part of the game where we get, like, more and more paper stuff everywhere. Wait. 
not only do you have to rotate the wheel, but you also have to slide them across, which was shocking to me and exciting. I'm also confused. Like, how does Mario attack in, like, a wide array? I thought you had to have them all in one line. I guess it will depend on the move, but wow. So he's basically like, click, 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 click. I'm hoping that you can navigate it really fast, and I hope that's how they kind of amend for the difficulty level. If there is no difficulty scaling, I hope they let you just, like, click, 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 click. Like, the players who get really good at it i probably won't be that fast with it but i do like getting efficient so it could be fun i could see that as being a very fun mechanic if you're like just sitting there playing like okay i have to battle this uh let me see click 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 attack click click it could be fun if that pacing is quick and the, uh, even if the attacks are quick i i'm excited i guess i'm hesitantly excited i'm nervous because i'm like i don't know if i want to just always be clicking click 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 maybe you only have to do it at the beginning of battle and it won't get too cumbersome because it'll just be like click 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 attack get attacked attack get attacked the bosses being everyday objects is super like creative but it didn't get me that excited for them as characters like i don't consider those characters i consider them just inanimate objects attacking you and it did look cute but i'm hoping that that's very early game and that's why they revealed it because i want to fight like mushroom kingdom characters and i want to fight non-inanimate objects i want to fight actual characters with like storylines and actual bodies i guess okay so i'm excited because i feel like that will definitely happen i am excited that they revealed these three bosses because that means they're probably very early on and we also got to look at the like mario party game battle looking thing like now you have to walk around a path are you rolling dice or something i didn't see any dice but like how are you navigating this pathway to get to the boss that definitely looks interesting i'm curious to see how that works overall this this trailer and this game looks like it's throwing enough variety at you that you are going to constantly be left with a hmm interesting and okay wow i want to play every one of those little mini games and see how they are i want to play every one of those little mini games it looks so fun right now it looks so much fun and they just released the title that says collectibles toads ah this is a toad this is a toad ah okay so everyday objects are toads <gasps> They just released even more mini games. And Nintendo and the developers cannot stop amazing me. Like I can I'm always shocked that they keep topping whatever I can possibly even expect. And every single time that I'm like kind of like complaining about a thing here or there, immediately they're like, We are upping this. You are going to be out of control. Ah, I can't wait to play. Like, I cannot wait to drive through that grass. I cannot wait to do that submarine. Like, all these... I can't wait to fish. There's all these little minigame-looking things driving through that desert. There's all these little minigame-looking things that look fun. If whoever is developing this right now is good at making fun little bite-sized packaged games, ooh, if they are good at creating that, ooh, within the, within the RPG story type telling, ooh, ooh, I feel... I feel very excited. <gasps> Luigi! Oh my gosh, they're showing a lot. Okay, I have to say bravo. I have to say bravo. They know how to put out a trailer. It flashed by and they had so much information. It was Luigi. It was Bowser Jr. again. It was Kamek doing something. It was missiles raining from the sky. Like there was something, not for everyone, but there was just so much to do. Nintendo is an entertainment company for all. Like, <sighs> Okay, so overall, I would say I am excited. I I do love looking at these visuals, and I do want to know the story, and I do want to save Princess Peach. I want to turn Princess Peach back into Paper Princess Peach. Uh, I hope we get to play as Paper Princess Peach. Ah. Uh. And the thing that I think I like the best about the trailer is that it barely shows you Mario, and that makes me like more eager to be mario like i want to be mario i want to control mario on july 17th like i need to get mario and i need to be mario and i need to save the day like i need to do all of these things that mario is doing that really was a great hype trailer and i am excited to play paper mario the origami king oh i can't wait i can't wait oh, i can't wait all right thank you for watching and have a good day bye bye